What you see in the toilet could be your body's first cry for help, long before pain or other symptoms ever appear. Medical experts confirm that stool color, texture, and consistency can reveal critical issues in your liver, gallbladder, colon, or pancreas, sometimes hinting at problems earlier than conventional tests. While most people flush without looking, this simple habit might be causing you to miss some of the earliest warning signs of serious health conditions that start with visible changes in the bowl. In this video, I'll break down the four most serious stool warning signs you should never ignore including dangerous colors like pale gray and jet black, plus one specific shape that could signal early colon cancer when treatment is most effective. I'll show real anonymized photos so you know exactly what to watch for and how to act fast. Let's start with a stool color that could indicate your liver is in serious trouble. Number one, clay colored or pale poop. Clay colored or pale poop, like light gray, beige, or even white looking, isn't something to ignore. It's not just a weird coincidence. It usually means your body's having trouble with bile, and that's something worth paying attention to. Bile is a greenish fluid made by your liver that helps break down fat in your food. But here's the part most people don't know. Bile is also what gives your poop its normal brown color. So, when your stool looks pale or clay-like, it means the bile isn't making it into your digestive system the way it should. Clay-colored stools. So on the occasional basis, not a big deal. But if it's every single bowel movement for a week or two, that needs to be addressed because this could also be a sign of something going on in your liver, your bile ducts, and your pancreas. So, what's causing that? Most of the time, there's something blocking the bile from flowing. That blockage could be from gallstones, a swollen bile duct, or even a problem with your pancreas pressing on things. Another reason could be liver disease. When your liver isn't working well, it can't make or send out enough bile, and that can change the color of your stool too. It's like your body's warning light, telling you something deeper might be going on. Now, let's say you've had one pale poop after eating something heavy or fat, no need to panic. But if it keeps happening for a couple of days or more, your body's clearly trying to tell you something. And if, on top of that, you notice your skin or the whites of your eyes turning yellow, that's jaundice. And it means your liver could be in serious trouble. This is not something to wait out. You'll want to get that checked fast. Your poop might be the first sign something's off, even before you feel pain or discomfort. So why are your stools clay covered? Here are five reasons why. Number one, it could be an intrinsic liver problem. So whether it's an autoimmune disease, hepatitis, a virus, cirrhosis, damage or inflammation in the liver has the possibility of progressing into worsening issues and they can manifest as clay colored stool. This change can sometimes be linked to medications too like certain antacids or antibiotics. But again, it's the ongoing change that matters. A one-time thing might pass, but a repeated pattern? That's your cue. Your poop is literally showing you what your blood work might confirm later. It's your body's early warning system. This type of poop isn't something to ignore or wait out. It's urgent. It can be linked to ulcers, tumors, or tears inside your stomach or gut. Some people don't even feel pain before it shows up, so the black stool might be the very first sign. And here's the part many people visit often has a really bad metallic or rotten smell. So if you're seeing that kind of black tarry stool more than once, don't guess or Google. Get help immediately. Coming up, we'll talk about a stool color that looks bright red. And now it's not always from something you ate. It could be something even scarier hiding lower down in your colon or rectum. Let's get into that next. Number two. Black terry stool. Black terry poop isn't just weird looking, it's one of the most serious signs your body can give. When your stool turns black and sticky like tar, it often means there's blood in it. Not just any blood either, but blood that's been sitting and getting digested inside your body. Usually coming from the upper parts of your digestive system like your stomach, your esophagus, or even the first part of your small intestine. By the time it makes its way out, it's been broken down and turned black. That's not just a color change. It's your body leaking on the inside. Now, here's where it gets even more serious. One of the most common reasons for this is a bleeding ulcer. These are painful sores that can pop up inside your stomach or intestines. And if they start to bleed, that blood doesn't always cause pain you'll notice right away. It just slowly leaks and ends up in your stool. If your poop is black, you may have bleeding in the upper GI tract or you're consuming certain supplements like iron. Sometimes, that bleeding is caused by things like tumors or even long-term use of medications like aspirin or ibuprofen. 
These meds might help with pain, but they can mess with the lining of your stomach if you use them too often or without food. Over time, they can lead to bleeding. You might not feel anything at first. That's what makes this sign so dangerous. You're not always going to get stomach pain, nausea, or anything dramatic before your stool turns black. But what I worry about is a GI bleed. So bleeding in your upper GI tract from an ulcer in the stomach with the small intestine or even esophagus can also turn your stools black. Why is that the case? When blood mixes with acid, the metabolism and oxidation of that can turn your stools black and become tarry as well. But if that bleeding keeps happening, your body will start showing other signs like feeling super tired, lightheaded, or dizzy. That's because you're losing blood, even if it's slow. And losing blood means less oxygen getting around your body. That's not just uncomfortable. It can become life-threatening if ignored. So if you're feeling fatigued, tired, having chest pain, shortness of breath, you're having these symptoms with black stools, this should not be ignored. You need to find out what's going on. So like I mentioned before, if you're feeling fatigued or weak, and you're having these symptoms, don't ignore that, especially if it's combined with black stools. And then lastly, you have black stools and all of a sudden they turn red. That is an emergency because what that tells me is that the dam has broken open and you have a big bleeding ulcer that's so vigorous in bleeding that it doesn't have time to oxidize. It's just coming out as red. And this is something do not ignore that you need to get help immediately. This kind of poop isn't just a red flag. It's a loud alarm. And while the color is the scariest part, the texture and smell give it away too. Trust your senses. If something looks and smells way off, your body is trying to tell you that something's wrong deep inside. Don't wait. Go see a doctor immediately. But color isn't the only way your stool sends warnings. Sometimes, the shape can say just as much about your health. Up next, we're breaking down what thin, ribbon-like poop might mean, and why your colon could be under pressure without you even knowing it. Let's talk about it. Watching this from somewhere interesting? Drop your city or country below. Let's see how far gut health awareness is traveling today. Number three, thin ribbon-like poop. Thin ribbon-like poop might look harmless at first, but it can be a serious warning sign. When your stool starts coming out long, narrow and almost flat like a ribbon or pencil, it could mean something is narrowing your colon. That narrowing might be caused by inflammation, a blockage, or even a tumor slowly growing and squeezing the space where waste normally passes. When that space gets tighter, your poop gets thinner. It doesn't have room to form its usual shape, so it gets pressed down and squeezed out looking like a string or a ribbon. You have a consistently thin stool, we call that pencil-like, or it comes out in different shapes like ribbon-like, that's when you really need to be worried because there could be something in your colon, the lumen, which is changing the shape of the stool. Now, sometimes this can happen because of something less dangerous, like constipation or IBS. In those cases, the muscles in your gut might be tightening up or spasming and changing the way the stool moves through your body. But if this shape keeps showing up over and over, or if it's something brand new for you, that's when you need to take it seriously. If it's happening a lot, and especially if there's blood in the stool or pain while going to the bathroom, Bathroom, or if you're also losing weight without trying, those are red flags you should not ignore. Your colon is like a long tunnel, and poop has to pass through it smoothly. But if something like a tumor is growing on the walls of that tunnel, it starts blocking the path. Your stool doesn't just come out thinner, it might also take longer, feel harder to pass, or even hurt. Remember when you played with Play-Doh, and you could stick it through a shape, and it'll come out in that particular shape? This could actually be going on with your stool. So if your stool has a distinct shape or is real narrow, it could be going through a partial obstruction, narrowing, or stricture. This really needs to be addressed. So speak with your doctor if you have consistently, uniquely shaped stools or very thin stools. Comment down below if you have any questions. And sometimes there's a mix of mucus or blood with it. That's not just from straining. That could be the tissue inside your colon being irritated or damaged. The big concern here is colon cancer, especially if this thin stool becomes your new normal. Even if you don't feel pain right away, your body could still be struggling inside. Your bowel habits are a good way to spot problems early. If things look different and stay that way, it means your digestive system is trying to push through something. And that's not normal. Pain in the lower stomach, 
cramping, or always feeling like you still have to go even after you just went can all go along with this type of stool. Don't write it off as a fluke or just blame it on diet. If it doesn't go back to normal after a few days, get it checked out. Your poop's shape is basically a printout of what's going on inside your gut. A consistent ribbon-like shape is your colon trying to send you a message. It might be warning you early so you can fix things before they get worse. Always pay attention to sudden changes in size, shape, or color. The sooner you notice and act, the better your chances are of fixing the problem. But now, let's talk about the kind of poop that doesn't sink. If your stool floats and smells worse than usual, your gut might not be absorbing nutrients the way it should. That's not just a digestion issue, it could mean your body's missing out on the fuel it needs. Number four. Floating or foul-smelling stool. Floating or foul-smelling poop might not seem serious, but it can actually be a clear sign that your body isn't absorbing fat the way it should. When stool floats, it's often because it contains too much undigested fat. That fat makes it lighter, so instead of sinking like normal, it hovers on the surface. And if it smells really bad, more sour or rotten than usual, that's often because gut bacteria are feeding on the leftover fat, creating a stronger odor. This usually means something's wrong with how your digestive system handles fat. Your pancreas all work together to break fat down. If one of them isn't doing its job, fat gets left behind. That's when it passes through your gut without being absorbed, causing oily, greasy stool. You might also notice bloating, cramping, or even rapid weight loss, since your body isn't getting the energy or nutrients it needs. One common cause is pancreatic insufficiency, where your pancreas doesn't make enough enzymes. Gallbladder issues or liver problems can also block the bile your body needs to break down fat. If this kind of poop shows up once, it might just be something you ate. But if it keeps happening, especially after fatty meals, don't ignore it. Have you ever asked yourself, why does my poop float? And if your poop looks like this, a lighter colored floating poop, maybe ask yourself, do I need a parasite cleanse? And this can commonly be caused by liver flukes. And liver flukes are intestinal parasites that can be in your body for 20 to 30 years without any symptoms. You don't even know that they're there. And they attach themselves to the bile ducts and decrease your bile secretion. And this then makes your poop float because it is not able to emulsify your fats properly. Try eating something fatty like an avocado. If your stool floats and smells off after that, it could be a warning sign. And if the problem sticks around or comes with other symptoms, it's time to talk to a doctor. This kind of poop isn't just gross, it's your gut waving a red flag. Up next, we'll look at the most overlooked habits that wreck gut health daily and how small fixes can make a huge difference. Your toilet might seem gross, but it's actually your body's way of sending health messages every day. The color, shape, and smell of your poop can tell you if something is wrong inside, even before you feel sick. So before you flush, Take a quick look. It could help you catch a problem early. If this video helped you understand your gut better, type gut check in the comments. And if you want a simple poop chart with colors and what they mean, just comment stool guide and we'll send it to you.